Hello friends, welcome to BISPSolutions.com and today we are going to see an interesting analysis on HR data model using TabView. In today's example, I am going to use set function and we'll create a set of multiple sets and finally we'll combine them. Okay. So actually, uh, the set is basically a subset of your data that meets the certain criteria, certain condition and based on your existing dimension. Likewise, in our example, I like to find a list of departments where my expenses on pension plan are above 100,000. Right? I also like to find a list of departments where my expenses on training is above 100,000. So basically, I'm creating two sets. This is set one, the list of departments, where pension plan expenses are more than 100,000. And second set, list of department where my expenses are above 100,000 training expenses and later on I'm going to apply union on both of the sets I can apply intersection on these two sets or maybe I can use minus or intersect on these two sets so let's get started how to build this step first I connect to my data source and build the build a model so my data source is Oracle and we are continuing to using our HR data model, which we built in our previous session. So my Oracle store in my local host and my service name is ORCL. My port is default port 1521 and this is my HR data model. And I select my data model. And I've got 77 dimension fact in this, but I need dimension pertaining to employee and expenses. Let me start with my dimension, employee dimension. Then I need a employee expense fact, employee expense type, expense type dimension. Then I need dimension pertaining to time dimension, financial department, uh, finance dimension, and account dimension. So it takes some time. To bring them in a drag and drop uh, employee expense no, that's not the right one I want expense type employee expense type dimension then I bring a financial dimension where I get the general ledger and other details and we have to look up tables and finance account name so financial expenses I find it from here account name and account type because i need x details from different departments therefore i need to bring the dimension from department as well which is my organization detail over here organization detail uh, in the bottom organization time and organization detail So my model is almost ready. I need a detail and summary fact, both facts. Right, so I got a employee expense summary. I mean, this is detail fact. There's one more fact table which maintains summary information. So I'll bring that summary information as well. Employee summary fact, yes. So the model is pretty much ready. I can quickly browse through. This in model consists of your dimension, two facts, summary fact, detail fact, time dimension, department dimension, which is your organization. And you have got information about types of expense and financial dimension members. Okay. So let's look at our first set, what we need. We need a list of department where my cumulative expenses Pension plan cumulative expenses are above 100,000. So, first I display department, which I can find it from organization. That's, so, uh, your tableau differentiate the dimension and facts. All text are dimension and all numbers are facts, excluding identifiers. Okay, so, I'll take organization name over here. They're in different language, it supports localization support. So they are different departments. Okay, I like to find out different department 
expense for the current year i don't have a time dimension here i need to go back and add time dimension as well so which is my dim time i drag and drop add a dim time all analysis are time bound so i assume my analysis is confined to current year and uh, i go back and add a time dimension here so i need a current year once again i select different departments current year i apply filter on current year and assume i have a data for 2007 and uh, i'll select different department and then we select types of expenses employee expense type so there are different language i select english language and so i got benefit bonus pay and training now under benefit i like to see types of benefit which i find under my uh financial account lookup types of benefits right so i got different types of benefit the one which i want in our analysis i want pension plan benefits right so i click on this and keep only i got expenses uh filter on year and uh, benefit plan expenses then i drag and drop and put the total expense as a fact but i would like to see only those department where my expenses are above 100000 isn't it so i filter it on my major and i say i want the value to be greater than 100000 i don't have 100000 so i just filter it out and say uh which is greater than 1000 so i got one set i got list of department on organization where the value is more than 1000 i select the whole set right click so the set i move a mouse cursor and tag it as create a set i name this set as organization or department with Uh, which meet the first criteria where pension plan is greater than hundred thousand. Department pension plan pension expenses above one thousand. And then first set is ready. I could see the site is get, got created over here. I'm going to save it. HR expense analysis. Then I'm going to create another set. A second set required to create list of department where training expenses are above hundred thousand. Okay. So I remove expenses from benefit pension plan filter. and i apply filter on employee expense group and my employee expense group would be on training i click uncheck all and click on training only right so i got only one department which meet the criteria so i create another set the second set is department uh where training expenses more than 100000 or 1000 above 1000 i got two sets right now i can combine these two sets use them independently in order to use them independently you drag and drop and put over here okay. so you got set a list of department where my pension expenses are above 100000 above 1000 okay it takes some time to render so when i drag and drop i get two value over here, in and out in me meets the criteria out means the criteria does not mean I can convert an in and out value. Turn this value in and out to actual value. Click on this and click on Show Member Set. So I set a list of department where criteria meet. These are departments. Okay. So these are different departments. They are appended with your all value: benefit, pension plan for corporate, customer care, customer service, finance, and blah blah. Similarly, I can drag and drop another set, or I can combine two sets. So, second set and drag and drop into second uh, worksheet so that we can differentiate them. 
So I got only one department. Right? Now I'm going to create a department meets the criteria. It means when I apply union, I would have list of department where my pension expenses are greater than 100,000 and training expenses are more than 100,000 or 1,000 you specify over here. You can click on this, create combined set, combine first set with another set. Okay. And I use intersect, so I have department with training and training and pension expenses. I got this uh, set over here, which is combined set. I use intersect. So a list of department I find which meet both the criteria. There is no department which meet both the criteria in as per our uh, data set. Okay. Then I use A minus B set S1 minus S2, which means I need a list of department where pension expense are more than 1000. And from this, I'll reduce those department where training expenses are more than 1000. S1 minus S2. So I select create. Uh, training expenses create combined plan minus pension expenses so from all the department where training expenses are 1000 would be subtracted other way around as a b minus a i would see list of all the department where my pension expenses are more than 1000 from this i'll get a list of department and remove the department when my training expense are more than 1000 okay so i say department expenses where training expense uh, where pension expense 100000 1000 but training expense Because I'm reducing it, but so I use a negative operator. But training expense is not thousand, so I would have a list of department where my pension expenses are more than thousand, but training expenses are not more than thousand. I use negative. I remove department from the complete list. Fine. So I got in and out. I convert this in and out to members. So finally, I have a, these are the department where training expenses are more than 1000, but my uh, pension expenses are more than 1000, but my training expenses are not more than 1000. The list of department, I can add an expense over here as well to make it meaningful. Right. So finally, quick recapitulate we created one set where my pension expenses are more than 1000. We create another set where my training expenses are more than 1000. Then I create one set which I where I wanted to see all the department where my training and pension expenses both are above 1000. Then I create a set where I wanted to see the list of department where list of department where my pension expense are more than 1000. But from this department list, I remove those department where my training expenses are more than 1000 in the whole set. And finally, I have this list. This is how you can use set function and address some of the complex calculation and expression, which are a little difficult without writing custom SQL query. So that's it for today. Um, I open for your question. If you have any question, you can ask me. Should you have any question, you can ask me.